Let's take a look at this example. I would start solving this problem by redrawing the circle. Okay, so I can redraw this circle like this. I have my current source and I have my resistor R1 I have my resistor R2 okay so I obtained basically the circuit which is looking in my opinion a little bit easier than this one so now you can see that resistor R1 and R2 are in parallel okay and I have my current source this is my IS so if I have current and I have resistors in parallel okay so what we're supposed to do we're supposed to simply find the total resistance and use the current uh, divider uh, rule in order to to find current I1 and I2 so what I would do I would simply write that my R total is equal R1 times R2 over R1 plus R2 okay so I have R total is equal R1 is equal 4k times 10k over 4k times 10k in parentheses sorry this is plus Okay, so what we're supposed to do is simply use the calculator and find R total. Okay, so I have 4 exponent 3 times 10 exponent 3 divided by open parenthesis 4 exponent 3 plus 10 exponent 3. Close parenthesis, this is equal 2.85 kilohms. 2. 85 kilo ohms. This is my total resistance. Next, I'm going to use the current divider rule. Okay, so I'm going to find I1. I1 is equal I source times R total over R1. So my I source is equal 8 milliamps. So I have 8 milliamps times R total, which is equal 2.85 kilo ohms. So I have 2.85 kilo ohms. Divide by R1, which is equal 4 kilo ohms. This is equal. Again, I'm going to use the calculator. And I have 8 exponent 3 negative times 2.85 exponent 3 divided by 4 exponent 3. This is equal 5.7 milliamps. So this is my current I1. 5.7 milliamps. Now I'm going to find I2. Again I'm going to use current divider rule why? Because I want to practice current divider. I can use also a uh, coach of current law, simply subtract from IS, I1, but let's practice current divider law because many students have problems with that. So I have IS, I source, and I have R total over, over R2. So this is equal 8 milliamps times R total is equal 2.85 kilo ohms over R2, which is equal 10 kilo ohms. This is equal. I have 8 exponents 3 negative times 2.85 exponents 3, because we have K, divided by 10 exponents 3. This is equal to... 2.28 milliamps. 2.28 milliamps. I'm going to say this is 2.3 milliamps approximately. So this is 2.3 milliamps. Now, if you want to verify uh, if your answers are correct, 
you can always use the Kirch of current law and simply write that I source is equal I1 plus I2. Okay, because my current IS is going to split into two currents, into current I1 and I2. If you are going to add these two currents, you are going to have IS. So simply write that this is 5.7 milliamps plus 2.3 milliamps. Okay, this is equal 8 milliamps. So please notice that at the beginning we had 8 milliamps, okay, and after um, adding these two currents together we get also 8 milliamps, so it means that everything, whatever we did so far, is correct. So we found I1 and I2. Next we're supposed to calculate voltage S, okay, it means voltage between these two points. In these two points, okay, because this is my IS, so my VS is going to be voltage across my my uh, current source. So what you're supposed to do? Simply say that VS is equal IS times R total, right? Because this current times the total resistance of the circuit is going to give me voltage across the current source and this is go going to be also voltage across resistor R1 and resistor R2 because these two resistors are in parallel. In parallel circuit the voltages are the same. So my IS is equal 8 milliamps. This is given. Okay, 8 milliamps over here. Times R total and we found that R total is equal 2.85 kilohms, so I have times 2.85 kilohms. Next I'm going to use the, the calculator and simply multiply 8 exponent 3 negative times 2.85 exponent 3. This is equal 22.8 volts. So Vs is equal 22.8 volts. So it means that this is also voltage across resistor R1. I can say this is V1 and this is also equal to V2. Why? Because this is parallel circuit. Okay? So resistor R1 is in parallel with resistor R2 and these two resistors are in parallel with current source. That's why the voltages across, across these components are the same. So Next, we're supposed to find, uh, well, we'll find already V1, so V1, we said this is equal my voltage source, which is equal 22.8 volts, so we have, so far we've found I1, we found I2, we found Vs, we found V1, so now we're supposed to find the, the power, the power at resistor 2. So, we can use the formula power. P2 is equal I2 to the second power times resistor R2. Okay, remember that that power is equal I squared times R, okay? So this is I2 is equal 2.3, 2.3 milliamps to the second power times resistor R2. Resistor R2 was 10K, so 10 kilohms. So this is equal 2.3 exponent 3 negative to the second power times 10 exponent 3. This is equal 52.9 milliwatts. So this is 52.9 milliwatts. Okay. The problem is also asking me for power delivered by IS. So, in other words, we're supposed to find P total. P total is nothing else, just I source, I source square times R total. 
So we have I source is equal 8 milliamps to the second power times the resistance total, which is equal to 2.85 kilohms. Okay, so this is equal 8 exponents 3 negative to the second power times 2.85 exponent 3. This is equal 182.4 milliwatts. So this is 182.4 milliwatts. Okay, basically we found all quantities. So we can say that the problem is solved.